Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 6 in lesson number 26, we are solidifying our writing and interpretation of numerical expressions. This is very much a review of numerical expression work that we did earlier on in the fifth grade year. Let's take a look at three problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one, directions are for each written phrase, write a numerical expression and then evaluate your expression. Okay, let's take a look at 1b. We are supposed to divide the difference between 1 1,300 and 950 by 4. Hmm. So you, let me reread that. We're supposed to divide. What are we dividing? Let's see. Let's just say we know we're going to be dividing. We are dividing. Let's see. First thing we're dividing is the difference between 1,300 and 950. Let's see. So how can we express that? Let's see. That would be 1,300, okay, that's 1,300, like that, minus 950. We are dividing that. That's the difference between 1,300 and 950, and we're dividing that by 4. Got it. Like that. Okay? And then how would we solve this? Well, let's see. First, first things first. We need, to do, uh, we need to do what's in parentheses. So that's 1,300, 1,300 minus 950. Well, let's see, I can see that's going to have 300 here plus the 100 here is going to be 350 divided by 4. Well, 350 divided by 4, let's do it. Let's see, we cannot make any groups of 4 out of these 300s, but if we think of this as 35 tens, we can make some groups of 4. How many? Let's see, I think we can make 8 groups of 4. 8 times 4 is 32. We use up 32 of our 35 tens leaving us with three more tens. Can't make any more groups, but that's 31s, especially when combined with bringing down our zero ones. 31s, we can make, let's see, seven groups of four. Seven ones times four is 28 ones. That leaves us with two. And now it looks like we're gonna go into the decimal land. We have no tenths, so now we have 20 tenths, and we can make five groups of four, minus 20, and we're done. Okay, so our solution, oh, our solution is right here, 87.5. Awesome, we've been able to figure that out. So this is a tricky expression for sure because it says divide, so we know we're gonna be doing the division, but then the difference, we have to find out what that difference is first and then do the division that was mentioned right at the beginning, divide by four, awesome. Let's take a look at problem number two. Write at least two numerical expressions for each written phrase below, then solve. One sixth the product of four and eight. Hmm. One sixth the product of four and eight. One sixth. Well, let's see. One, let's see. One sixth the product. What's the product of four and eight? Four times eight, like that. So it'd be like one sixth the product of four and eight. Right. One sixth of the product of four and eight. You know, another way we could say that is that this is like the product of four and eight divided by 6, right? That's the same thing. So that's really actually two different ways we can solve it. Well, let's go ahead and solve this second one here. Uh, 4 times 8 is 32 divided by 6, and that equals, let's see, we can make 5 holes, and then we'd have 2 6 left over, but you know what? 2 6, I can make, I can do better than that. I can say that that's 5 and 1 third, right? I can simplify that last fraction. Awesome. So we can express this a couple of different ways, and it, again, is a tricky problem for sure uh, to set up. But again, just like the last one, once we've got it set up, the math is not really all that difficult. The, the real difficulty is getting from the English to the math. Math is a second language. Awesome. Take a look at problem number three. Use less than, greater than, or equal to to make, the tr to make true number sentences without calculating. Explain your thinking. Huh, so I'm not going to calculate anything. I'm going to take a look at 3b. Let's see. Oh, this is like expanded form, right? So let's see, five copies of a tenth. And what do I see over there? I see exactly five copies of a tenth. And then seven copies of a thousandth. And I look over there and I see seven copies of a thousandth. And I think we're done, right? I would say each, how would I explain that? Um, each fraction matches the decimal value, the decimal amounts on the right. Cool. Awesome. So I hope this has been a good review of your work with mathematical expressions. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.